This picture illustrates underneath the car on the left front side of the engine compartment. Locate the radiator drain plug as indicated by the green arrow. Place a drain pan underneath where you are working. Rotate the drain plug clockwise and thread it all the way out. You will not be able to remove it from the radiator, but coolant will start to drain out as you loosen the drain plug. This picture illustrates the engine compartment towards the front. Using a flathead screwdriver, loosen the radiator hose clamp. Twist the hose first to break free the corrosion, and then remove the hose from the thermostat housing neck. Using a T10 torque socket with a ratchet, remove the fastener on the left side of the thermostat. You can remove the serpentine belt if you want. It will give you more room to work, but you do not need to remove it to do the job. Using a T10 torque socket, remove the fastener on the right side of the thermostat. Once again, you can remove the serpentine belt if you want. It will give you more room to work, but you don't have to move it. Using a long flathead screwdriver, lever the corner, green arrow, of the thermostat housing from the engine. You can also use a flathead screwdriver to lever off the opposite side of the thermostat housing as indicated by the green arrow. Pull the thermostat out of the block. You do not to remove the serpentine belt to do this job. You can just flex it out of the way. We removed it for photographic purposes. Remove the O-ring seal, red arrow. Be sure the O-ring bore is clean before installing a new one. Fit the new O-ring seal inside the thermostat opening in the block. Fit the thermostat housing and tighten down the two fasteners. Install the upper radiator hose to the thermostat housing neck and tighten the hose clamp. Install the serpentine belt if you removed it. Fill the cooling system according to our tech article in video on draining, filling, and bleeding your cooling system, which you can find by following the link at the end of this video. Start the vehicle and let it warm up. Verify the temperature gauge goes over 80 degrees Celsius with the engine fully warmed up. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.